in the field people are exposed to terrible things sometimes, things that are shocking. For instance, people uh, rescuing migrants in the Mediterranean or people intervening after an earthquake. You see a lot of dead bodies. In malnutrition programs, they may be seeing children dying. When we're exposed to difficult things like that, you know, it's normal that our, our heart rate goes up, our breathing gets shallow, um, but that causes those memories to become kind of more vivid and to stay with us unless we address them. The psychosocial te care teams, like myself, were always available to workers in the field by phone, by Skype. And then if a specific incident happens, like the team is attacked, or if they're doing particularly stressful work, like dealing with rape victims, listening to those stories all day, Sometimes we'll send a team of psychologists into the field to do counseling with the local staff and the international staff. Burnout can happen basically when the amount of stress that you're exposed to surpasses your coping mechanisms. So we try to help people think before they go into the field how they're going to adapt um, what helps them de-stress to the field circumstances. Like somebody who's used to going jogging every day, if they're going to be in a compound in Afghanistan that they can't leave, we talk about maybe bringing a jump rope and being able to exercise in a very small space. Bringing things um, now with technology, movies, books, you can bring everything just on a tablet, just to think ahead of how they're going to address that in the field. But what we do know is that social connection is one of the most important ways of preventing burnout. So staying connected to the team in the field, but also to the people back home through phone, Skype, email, whatever works. Almost all field workers have trouble readjusting when they come back for some period of time. Coming back to all the opulence and, and plenty of this society can be jarring. And it seems like people are talking about really trivial things and we've experienced all these really important things and nobody's listening. <laughs> it can be really difficult. We encourage people to stay connected to other field workers when they come home. That can be really helpful. And for couples, it's difficult because the field worker's gone off and had all these experiences. Um, there can be a gulf that, that builds up. So the more they stay connected while they're in the field, the less that will happen. But everybody knows that it's going to take time. They really need time to reconnect with themselves and the people that are important to them.